Hi, my name is Tyler. I'm a double major here at SU in theater performance and vocal performance. And today I'll be showing you a little bit of Smith Hall. So Smith Hall is typically a first year residence hall, usually housing around 275 students. It's right next to the sports complex and you also have the biggest backyard on campus if you do end up living here. So Smith Hall, like all of your other residence halls, are strict ID access. You just scan your student ID to get in. Right after you come in the main entrance of the building, you do have a common space. There's one on each of the three floors of the building that connects the two halves of the building. So there is a pool table, a nice area to watch TV with your friends, some other areas to do homework. And we also do have a seminar room available to students if they would like to use that to work on things like group projects. And lastly, in this space, we also have a multi-faith and mindfulness space. This is a nice area if you need some quiet time, either for prayer or for meditation. This is available to all students on campus. And now we're gonna go check out a laundry room. So this is one of the laundry rooms in Smith Hall. You have one on the first floor of each side of the building. And laundry is included in your room and board costs. You don't have to worry about bringing quarters, using any kind of card, anything like that. Just bring your detergent, dryer sheets, whatever you use, and you'll be all good to go. This building does have an elevator that goes to all three floors of it. So now we're gonna go up to the third floor to check out some other spaces. So this is the common space for the third floor of Smith Hall. This space does have a drink vending machine as well as a microwave available to students. Plus, it also does have a ping pong table too. And now we're gonna check out a bathroom and some rooms. So Smith Hall is co-ed by door. If you're wondering what that means, that means there could be two men living in one room and two women next door, for example, but there are still various resident assistants and various restrooms on each floor. So you can see one of those right here. On each floor in each wing, there are two main restrooms. Each one does have multiple showers, multiple stalls, as well as sinks, as you can see here. And now we'll get to see some of the rooms. This is one of our standard doubles in Smith Hall. So you do have a bed, desk, chair, and dresser for each student living in this space. And you can organize the furniture however you like. So if you would want to, for example, bunk these beds, you would be welcome to do something like that. Each room does also have its own heating and cooling unit. So if you like to have it cold in your room, people next door like to have it hot, whatever your preference is, you can have that. And you also do have a nice open closet space. Students usually just split that down the middle and that seems to work pretty well. Other than that, there is a two appliance rule. You can either have two fridges, two microwaves, or one of each, but that's just for those appliances. If you wanna bring either a Keurig or a TV with gaming systems, you're welcome to bring those as well. And now we're just gonna check out one last room with some different furniture setups. So this is gonna be one of our multiple rooms in Smith Hall. This particular room would house around four students. As you can see, each one still gets their own bed, desk, chair, as well as a wardrobe. So each wardrobe does have a set of drawers as well as a bar to hang clothes on. You can also adjust the height of the beds or the configuration of the desk if you would like it on the outside of the bed frame or on the inside. But despite it being a place for four students to live, it's still very roomy and a really nice place to live. Well, thank you for checking out Smith Hall with me and we hope to see you on our campus soon.